Hey, welcome back. Be sure to check the description box below for a link to Brando's Patreon, as well as a promotional video for the game he's making, and links to where you can check out his and Dwayne's music. Alright, let's crack on. Drop kick him off! Where's that headless hellion? Hang on! Get away from me! Why are you looking to make a sacrifice of yourself? I have to die. There's no other way. I killed someone. The man who was exploiting my family. For that reason. People who didn't even know us would curse at our family, throw rocks at us. I only did what I did to preserve my family's happiness. But it brought nothing but more pain. Wah, wah, wah. Welcome to reality. I say that if I throw myself from here as a sacrifice to the gods, then I might have a chance of absolving myself and of restoring my honor. You're a dumbass. It is my only hope for salvation. This is why if religion is bad, kids. promises nothing but suffering, then better I die. Enough. Let her go, Saray. What? She regrets dirtying her hands for the sake of her family. Seeking restoration of her honor. All she wants is someone's approval. She doesn't even think that she's to blame. What's gotten into you, Dezel? Nothing. A hellion's domain! It's Bossius Maximus! See you, bitch! Damn it! Damn! Dazzle! Rose! Miklio! Stop that headless bastard! Okay, got it! So no need for me this time? Let's leave it to them, Magna. Dessel? You want to die? Then why are you hanging on so tight? There are plenty of times when I've wondered if I truly did the right thing. We all have. That feeling of loneliness, it can drive you crazy. But the idea that sacrificing yourself will erase your sins, it's a fallacy. Killing yourself means nothing to the Seraphim. But I... I can't take responsibility so for my own actions. Do you want to leave them all alone? For the sake of a sacrifice that has no meaning at all? Well, of course, because then the coward wouldn't have to face it themselves. I don't want to die. Keep struggling. That's the fate of all with blood on their hands. I know I sound pretentious, but my friends tell me I need to stop trying to bear everything by myself, too. We all need our families. If you work together, I'm sure you'll find some way out. I'll try. Hmm. But your trial is not over. That's right. Oh yeah, the boss. <laughs> we still gotta stop him. Oh, you duper head. So he doesn't like physical, and he doesn't like fire. So... Oh, didn't really want to do that yet, but whatever. Burn 
Um. Dry entry, I guess. So this is what became of all those sacrifices. Derpahan. A warped idol, born of a warped religion. Christianity? You're gonna be all right. Can you stand up? Um, are you the the shepherd? I'm called Saray. Then are the gods? I mean, are the seraphim with you? Yes, a wind seraph accompanying me named Dezel is the one that saved your life. Hey, keep me out of this. Oh, thank you so much, Seraph Dezel. Really, truly, thank you, thank you. I, I promise that I will live bravely from now on. I'll look in my soul and find a way to believe in myself. <laughs> oh, he's embarrassed. <laughs> we still have a bit more business here. Think you can get back down by yourself? Yes, I'll be fine. I'll have someone from the Frontier Patrol take me back to town. Yeah, good idea. Well, so if Spartan Kick to the Womb can give you the expressway down. Somehow it all worked out. And she teleported off screen. <sighs> Uh, stupid shit. Not only your strength, but your spirit and bonds as well. You are more than qualified to receive the spiritual power of wind. You speak of spirit, bonds. <laughs> Surely you have noticed, Dezel, that which is attached to your being at this very moment. It is not something that you should deny. You felt the voices of your companions, and acted of your own will, without any need for words. Are we done with this yet? Get it over with. Do you have something against developing true friendships? Why? There's something very important that I have to do. You should have picked up on that by now. And it is with true friendship that many obstacles may be surmounted. That you have reached this shrine overcome the trial, and now stand here at this very altar, serves as testament of that fact. <sighs> now then, let us offer a prayer. <sighs> to the young wind seraph, and also to the young shepherd. What awaits you on the path ahead, none can say. Heartbreak, redemption, endless possibilities. Cryptic bullshit. You never lose the guiding light that will lead you safely to the end of your journey. Yes. Light, huh? So then, Shepherd Soray, may the light shine always on your journey. Thank you, Wardell. How are you feeling? Okay? Yeah. Hmm? I just wanted to thank you. Huh? Dazzle, you mustn't push yourself too hard. <sighs> hey, at least you got to do something out there. There's no need to stay here. Let's go. <sighs> Are you alright? The power isn't affecting you, is it? I'm fine. But thanks for worrying about me. We've obtained all four spiritual powers. Think we're ready for Heldolf? No. Well... No way to tell until we try, right? Yeah, but first, we gotta track him down. How? He hasn't exactly been mailing us postcards. We know where he was. Why not start there? The battlefield. Works for me. Hey, they actually gave me a hint on where I'm supposed to head next. Self Okay. You can really make me walk all the way out of here. Can I just jump off the edge? I mean, I have wind powers.
Yo, here's the boss. He's weak against physical and fire. Beat the fucking shit out of him. I mean, wow, that was kind of a... Yeah. We found quite a few discovery points. Exploring ruins is all well and good, but you have to be careful when getting sidetracked like that. Really? If you don't look properly at where you're going, you might turn the corner and bump into someone. That's when you gotta use that fancy footwork of yours. Take a quick back step. Actually, Rose, it would be most appropriate to sidestep in that situation. Yeah, yeah. And then, if you could coordinate it with other battle actions, then you could easily increase the stun rate. That'd be a pretty sad scenario for whoever you bump into. We've collected quite a few anomalous orbs. You mean those orbs you get from mutant hellions? If you possess these orbs, you will be able to manifest powers beyond your ability. But there's also the risk of turning into a horrible monster. Then wouldn't it be better to throw them away or break them? It's fine for now since I've sealed its powers, but it's nevertheless something that can have a baleful effect depending on how it's used. And moreover, breaking them will cause malevolence to spread over the entire area. So in conclusion, it's a good idea to pick these up as we go to avoid further problems, right? Yes, but mutant hellions are incredibly strong. If you ever find yourself in a tight spot, remember that there's no shame in escaping. Got it. Oh, hey. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Meh. Okay, so where are we? Western Gebelblend. Uh Up up and away, bitch. There were nine floors in there? Wow. So, do I get to fight on, like, Rollins' side and just beat the ever-living shit out of everybody? Hey, is that Drug Pope? Oh, no, wait, Drug Pope died, I think. Delivery confirmed. You Sparrow Feathers definitely know how to secure quality goods. Now, about our next order. Sorry, but something else has come up, actually. We hope to do business with you again, though. Felice, Talfrin. Boss, what perfect timing. Work? Yeah, we got... Hey! We got something we should discuss elsewhere. Come on over here. All right. You're selling goods to the other side, aren't you? Rubble, rubble, rubble. We were approached by a secretary from the Rollins government. It looks like a job offer. What? Is this secretary the steward to the Emperor? That's right. Plus, we got some juicy info, too. It seems that the Queen of Rollins is making moves to adopt the child of her late brother. Interesting. The current Emperor is the son of the previous one, but the Queen wasn't the mother. Right. And she once conspired with her own son in an attempt to shift the line of succession to him. You remember how that all worked out. You can bet the secretary hasn't forgotten, either. Sounds fine. I'll handle it. You're taking a job? You realize this client is our sworn enemy. Remember the creed of the scattered bones. If the job itself is a necessary one, it doesn't matter who the client is. 
That's what we stand for, isn't it? I suppose it is. Gosh, boss. I don't know what we'd do without you. And that's why I'm the boss. <laughs> anyway, how should we approach the client? We'll sneak into Pendrago Castle. Seriously? The client's probably too skittish to come meet with us personally, and a proxy won't do at all. I need to judge the client for myself. Got it. If we're headed for the castle, I better call up everyone. Don't worry. I'm going with her. There are some things a shepherd can't ignore. Huh? You sure? Is this okay, boss? Rose, it's looking like the Imperial family has somehow gotten mixed up with Hellion. Oh, you think? We should go by ourselves. Telfrin, Felice. We'll go by ourselves. It'll be easier to get around that way. Alright. Take care out there, boss. Soray, you watch over our boss now. You hear? We'll do. I'm a master of stealth. I feel kind of guilty getting you all wrapped up in the affairs of the scattered bones. Just going to beat it's the shit out of everybody. I should be there for you. All the more so if Hellions might be involved. Finally, it's time. Let's get going to Pendrago. Dazzle. You're really going through with this? Better late than never. What's this about? You don't need to know. Oh, what? come on! Just tell me! And cut it out! Get the hell off me! What an adorable couple. Hey! Can it, Pixie? Let's get moving! Dazzle, are there really Hellions in the Roland's Imperial family? You're slow to catch on. Go see for yourself. Hey. Yes, Saray. I know. It's cool, guys. I love being kept in the dark. Sorry. I promise, just a little bit longer and we'll be able to explain. Alright, if you say so. And Dazzle has a skyrocketing murder boner. Wait for night in Pendrago and then head to the castle. And we don't have Traveler's thing here. Fuck. We can't warp to Pendrago entrance? Uh... I guess East Meadow. But why can't I... That's weird. Ah, there must be a scene. Must be something like fucking Sergei running up like, Oh, Shepherd Man! We need help! I see drugs in the distance. Chicken, I don't have time for your nonsense. There's drugs to be had. Like, did you see how easily I melted the last boss bird? You do not want anything of what I've become right now. Yeah. Oh, hey. That's Sweet. what. Somehow I'm guessing this ain't a coincidence. Just a word of friendly advice. Leave your opponent this time to me. Don't mess with me, Zabid. I'm not messing with you, especially not now. You can listen to me or not, your choice. But I'm handling this either way. 
Like hell! Fair enough, Dezel. But just so you know, there's two people left that I've still got a score to settle with. And I didn't save these last two shots of mine, just to throw them away. What are you even talking about? Mickey boy, when a man says he means business, he means business. Don't ever forget that! Again? Now! Come at me! It's on! This is ridiculous! Too late now! Here goes! No, you shoot! I'm not letting an ass like you interfere with my plan! Gonna have to beat this ass first before you can say that! It's alright, I'm handling this! Don't you dare try to keep me out! Group up and juggle him till he dies. Hello, tree. Oh, I was going to use the super move, but... Damn! You're a lot better at this than you used to be. Hey. If you can't stop this fool from killing the Hellions, then try using this. Its power can stop malevolence from binding with people. Got it. I'll give you my very last shot. You can pay me back later. Why do this? <laughs> Hell if I know. Go on ahead. Zvid needs a nap. Siegfried. Hmm. I'm just gonna lie here and die. Blech. All right. Uh, we'll be right back.